Belgium will be wearing their red strip today and they are heavily outnumbered in the way of support that's for certain and many of the neutrals or the Mexicans have gone out and bought Argentina shirts and Argentine flags to side now with the only surviving South American team in the competition so the referee Mr. Marquez, who would not be allowed to officiate in our football league because he would be too old. Uh, he's going to have a word with one or two of the Argentine players prior to the kickoff. And there's a lot of nervous energy pent up down there because semi-finals, as I think Laurie McMenemy was saying, always have that little edge about them where nobody wants to make the error that could cost their team a place in the greatest event of all. This is Curlimans falling over early on for Belgium and claiming a free kick. Both teams have played already in the Azteca in this tournament. Ronquin. This is Valdano for Argentina. Maradona. Valdano. Mar Maradona was felled off the ball when it had gone. Alata Kachaya. Batista, Hector Enrique, 14, Schusty, Enrique, Batista. And Rougerie has come through from defence, but it was too long for him. In a short space of time you can see why Maradona is such a complete player. The first two touches he had in the last couple of minutes were first time. Players came to tackle him and he whipped it off nimbly without them ever getting a sniff of the ball. But when the moment comes to do something that is as disturbing as that run was for the defence, he can do it. Is he going to do it again? There was the first time. Bruchaga. And again set up by Maradona. Burishaga found some useful space there, and Maradona found him. The defence was pulled, neither man could close in in time, although the shot didn't trouble Fat. Enrique, Justi, Maradona. This is Burishaga, and this is Justi. That's a good little interchange, and Justi's gone again, and Ruger is in the attack once more. Maradona. been given against Jorge Valdano and justice somehow in a weird way not that it'll be any consolation to England has half been done because on that occasion the linesman was as quick as lightning mind you Maradona was too to start with he thundered in that shot it crashed against the bar now watch Jorge Valdano that was given as hands Belgium are finding it quite hard at the moment to get out of their own half Ruggieri. Oh, he's done a good run there, the number 19, and he seemed to be impeded. Now, this is 25 yards. And they'll be looking towards one man, not to, so much Ruggieri, who's gone up in case they think about playing it into the penalty area. In fact, he decides now they're not going to and walks back. And I think we can take it that Maradona will direct operations here. There's five in the wall. Rougerie now has gone back forward again, and so has Brown. Bruchaga. Everyone looking at Maradona, and uh, they were a bit surprised. It's interesting to see Rougerie's role today. I fair book, but at the end of the day, needed an older head to keep calm over the shot. But so far, the underdogs are doing quite well. They're still in the game. They've survived one or two explosive moments from Maradona. But it's still on the ball now. Almost perfection to see sometimes the clinical simplicity of his game like that. Just beautiful passes. Lovely touch. Very simple. And then all of a sudden he flashes into the kind of ability that really is a almost magician-like.
Oh, Curlymans and Danny Freight offside. Gesture of dissent by the number 18, which will not do him any good at all. Referee Marquez has shown the yellow card to Danny Fate. So now he joins six other Belgians with a card against his name. Angry at the linesman's decision, he thought he was on. Maybe because it happened off the field. Here's Grun. George Grun with the shot. Kleissen, handball. Well, the linesmen are, the linesmen are so quick on these now. There's been so much debate here about the Maradona incident. The referee anxious to show by his signal that it's being watched for all the time. No question about that. Both arms, it looked like to me. Here's Justy. That was Bruchaga looking for Maradona. And Valdano's in the middle. And here's Justy with a chance. And what a miss in the semi-final by Ricardo Justy. I wonder if there's ever been a great player in football who is as strong as Maradona shows there. Look, challenge, thrusts his man off. Batista. Enrique. Maradona. Oh, what a good break. Oh, it wasn't. It's a free kick. Would have been a good break for Belgium if the referee had let them get away with that. Bilardo, the Argentine coach, reflecting the anxiety that will be felt on the two benches as this semi-final goes into its 36th minute with no score. Just and thinking of the difference with the referees, uh, Mr. Agnolini, who did the other semi-final, showed that it wasn't necessary to litter yellow cards all over the place to control a game of football. He did it beautifully. Um, was a lesson that I hope the other referees will learn from. Maradona is standing some five or six yards behind the ball. And he floats that one in for Ruggieri. And the defender is Ronquin. Well played by him. Bruchaga. Oh, and the Belgians have got a break on if it's played right. Kleissen to Curlymans. And Danny Freight through the centre. And he's cracking the cards and is offside. Clearly offside that time. I thought the linesman was barely right, but just right on the last one. That time, Kuhlman's missed a chance. If he played it first time, the players were onside and running. But you see how he held it, which gave those front runners no chance for Larger Kachaya. Kuhlman's. Kleissen and Fater in the middle. This is Kleissen. Moving out right to make room for Curlimans to go inside. The Kauteren. Brun. The Kauteren. The Belgian team gaining confidence there. Good first time passing creates that chance. A difficult angle. Not the easiest ball to hit there on the run, but... Uh, they are increasing their confidence, the Belgian side, if you think. They've beaten the Soviet Union, a fine team. They've beaten Spain. Why should we not believe that they're capable of taking Argentina on? Well, here's Valdano. And again, they break up the attack very succinctly. But how long for? This is Maradona. Waiting. Oh, that's a lovely little ball for Justi who turned well and found Batista. Now Maradona. And Maradona again, and he's got to the line, and it's still Roncan who came across and thumped the ball away from Maradona. Another moment there where the great man opted out of a right foot pass. Here comes Valdano. Fairfoot with the half-time whistle imminent. Right on cue from uh, Antonio Marquez. 
so Belgium have done their job in that first 45 minutes and done it pretty adequately they have indeed and uh, there are boos as the teams go off the field I don't know why it's not been the most explosive half that we've seen in the World Cup competition but fascinating they're playing for a place in the final which means so much to both teams and quite honestly I would say at this point honors even Belgium had that one chance uh, where the Argentine defense was split totally and all it needed was a first time ball anywhere into the other half of the field uh, Argentina have had two or three moments of course of Maradona magic which have threatened but as yet the Belgians as you've seen have kept their goal intact so for the second half I think we've got a fascinating contest and I still wouldn't like to put my money all that positively on Argentina although they are my selection for the whole World Cup just a small point as the whistle blew there Danny Fate the Belgian player who was booked by the referee for descent went up and shook his hand as if to apologize perhaps just smoothing the way for better relations in the second half so at the Azteca Stadium which is now filled out the score at half time in the World Cup semi-final for the right to play West Germany in the final is Argentina nil Belgium nil but his Argentine team here know that they're in a match against the underdogs from Europe no score at half time and the possibility remember again of extra time and penalty kicks which were needed to sort out three of the quarterfinals here's Alata Cachea for Argentina playing now from the right Hector Enrique Justi Enrique Bruchaga appeals for offside and given very late by the linesman but he was Jean-Marie Faf, a reassuring figure for the Belgians to have at the back of their defence. Schifo wins the throw. And they've continued to surprise people ever since. Fair foot. Here is Grun. The counter and out left. Curlimans joins those in the middle. But again, Argentina cut out the cross. Enrique. Bruchaga. Aldano in the centre. And Maradona. There he goes. Maradona! He's done it once again. The man they can't contain emphasizes again his worldwide reputation. Producing a goal out of almost nothing. Made the run ahead of the two defenders and jabbed it with his left foot, a bit like against England, to put Argentina into the lead in the World Cup semi-final. Six minutes gone in the second half and the Azteca salutes another moment of genius from Diego Armando Maradona and if Fapp had had the same chance to see the replays that we have I wonder whether he would have considered staying a bit nearer his own line and let the two defenders deal with Maradona run he was in no position at the end of that run to get a powerful shot in and Fapp actually sold himself by going out and joining in trying to take the ball off him but it was absolute genius pace perfect touch to finish and a wonderful run fair foot for Belgium though on the break corner now these will be to say the least an interesting 10 minutes coming up because the old adage in football says that you're at your most vulnerable when you've just scored and Belgium know they're going to have to try and get back into the game pretty quickly before Argentina capitalise on that the Caltrum takes the corner and Schifo coming in for the header which he might have done rather better with because nobody seemed to pick him up did they? No, a clear header he had and if we get the chance to see it again I think uh, 
you'll realise that that was a good scoring opportunity. So, with 13 minutes gone in the second half in the Azteca Stadium, the score in this World Cup semi-final is Argentina 1, courtesy of Maradona, Belgium 0. Desmet. Kleissen is making a run into the centre. Fate is also there. And Belgium are going to contest this every inch of the way. It's a corner. Taken quickly. Desmet. Grun. And a chance for Kleissen. It came at him so quickly, I don't think he could really control it. No, what a hard luck there really because it was a, a driven shot we can see it now low very low but he's got his back to the coal and there was nothing he could do about it if he was round the other way he'd fired the pistol really before, before the bullet was in the hole here's Maradona and these are the spaces that he loves to get into checked by Fefort barely says the referee play on Gerets Brown and that ball will find Valdano who's waiting for support here. It's coming from Maradona, and Enrique's in there. Danger here for Belgium. Hector Enrique from a pass by Maradona. That's the third time I've seen Maradona do this kind of chip. I don't know any other player that will try that. Ruggeri needing to clear that fairly rapidly. But Maradona's leadership is another theme we ought to refer to at some stage. He is the captain, and he has matured so much in the last four years that he's really such an influential figure on the pitch, not just in the brilliant way he plays, but in the way the others seem to respond to him. Bruchaga. There's Maradona again, pulling it wide for Valdano. Bruchaga's in. Maradona wants it played back again. Oh, that's a good Great save by Pfaff. A larger Kachaya coming through from left back to strike one. Which was a good shot from a good pull back there. And Pfaff was alive to it. Knowing the difficulty of saying that name, I would rather refer to Pfaff's save, which I think is one of the best I've seen in this competition. Low down to the left, very difficult, but it's kept Belgium in the game. Corner to Argentina, Maradona to take, and the luck goes deservedly with the goalkeeper. He made a fine stop there, and indeed it has prevented Argentina from building up the 2-0 lead, which they had against England. Chifo. Tuesday to Enrique and Maradona's on his way again here he's trying to get in behind the fullback but the left back Fervurt is a very fast young player Bruchaga Argentina have uh, been able to just to take the game a bit since the goal. Here's Bruchaga. The ball was out. Playing with a rather more freedom now as befits the side who lead in a semi-final which was desperately tight until Maradona jabbed out his left foot. Cachufo. Maradona. Going at them again. Brilliant run by Maradona. Fantastic goal. Unbelievable. World class in the best sense of the phrase. What was amazing about this run was how he kept going straight at one point before going to the left and then leaving Faf no chance on that. He just kept going in a straight line the first time there. Then he moves to the left where he's so strong, but he's got the acceleration to stay ahead of players. Really extraordinary. Here from another angle, that's the straight on one, then the one to the left, and he's going past them all the time. I don't think I've ever seen a player quite like that in, in football in my time. And all left foot, Jimmy. 
So, 62 minutes gone in the World Cup semi-final in Mexico City. It's Argentina 2, Belgium 0. And the man who has now stamped his genius and authority on the World Cup has got both goals again. The Cauteron for Belgium. That brings Maradona's total now to five. So he's one behind Gary Lineker. Good tackle by Batista. He won the ball fairly there. And here's the little man again, setting up Valdano. The game seems at the moment to be revolving entirely around Maradona. Here he goes again. They don't know what to do. The defenders are absolutely helpless. He's taking them on one after the other with that surge of pace. They're trying to pull him back. They're trying to read which way he's going to go. And they've got no hope whatsoever. He's taken the game over. As I think Kelly was no slouch when it came to uh, physique. He was a strong player as well as being a very brilliant one. But still, I, I've yet to see anybody of the strength plus artistry of Maradona. Curlimans was fouled by Justi. It's a free kick to Belgium. Now the ball is being placed by the, by Shifo and the Kautren, who has chipped some useful balls from here with his left foot is also standing out of your picture close to the ball see him there now hands on hips Shifo looks at him there's a bit of a debate well Belgium are only wasting their own time here and Shifo Pompidou was behind it all the way. This is Valdano. Now it's Enrique. He looks a neat little player, number 12. Came in for the England game. The cross by De Mol. For Caudron. Fervurt still showing great athleticism on the left wing. Span off Juicy for a corner to Belgium. 12 minutes to go. Belgium have to score twice to force extra time and prevent Argentina from reaching the World Cup final under Carlos Bilardo. Fairfoot will take the corner. And guess who intercepted it? He's everywhere. Shifo. No, referee's not happy. Demol. Header out, Bruchaga. It's a good, smart clearance that. It gave Argentina the chance to develop a counter-attack. That's not a very good pass. Second chance, though. Alati Kachaya. Maradona. Ruchaga. Batista. The crowd are giving it the Olay now. When an Argentine move like this develops into a series of rapid, accurate passes, it's Justi out on the right wing. Enrique is onside. There are three waiting in the centre here for Argentina. But the counter and was able to clear. Justy kept the ball in. Maradona flicking it up. Bruchaga, surely he won't reach that. Goodness me, he did. Into the last 10 minutes of this World Cup semi-final in one of the great theatres of world football, the Azteca Stadium. And fittingly, the leading role has been played by the outstanding player in this World Cup. Curlimans for Belgium. Fair foot.
Elements was in there. This is a larger chair. Brought the ball down beautifully. And just look at that raking pass. And he seems to have got clear again. And Valdano is waiting to finish this off. It was too easy. <laughs> it may not matter at the end of the day, but that's got to be the miss of the World Cup, hasn't it? Look at that ball from a larger Cachea to Maradona. And talk about putting it on a plate. This was an absolute present for Jorge Valdano who side-footed the ball over the bar. Ronquin. Run. Four minutes to go. 2-0 to Argentina. Fate. Chifo. And Grun. Good effort by Grun. And... Good response, too, from Neri Pompidou, who flew to his right to turn that round and showed again that he is a good shot stopper. Run again, though. They just won't give up the Belgians. To their immense credit, as an Argentine player flat out in his own penalty area, I think there may have been a blow in the face there. The ball struck him in the face. No fault of any Belgian, but uh, he's laid out there. Hector Enrique. Indeed, he faced up to it very bravely because there would have been a chance, I think, to duck out the way of it. But at this stage of the game, Argentina, having got so far, are not really giving the Belgians much chance to get back in the match. Once they scored that first goal, new strength came into their legs. They chased that much harder. We can see it now. Boom, there it is. Straight on the nose. End up giving him a nose like his manager. There he is, flat out. And I think he's taking the opportunity, and so are the... Argentines to rest. They know they've only got to play about three minutes more once they start again or something like that. And so the game looks to be coming to its inevitable end. And you can have a look there from another angle. I'm sure he'll enjoy that on his video once the World Cup's over to see how he was knocked unconscious. Just going back to Maradona, Jimmy, he has produced his goals in the vital games, hasn't he? One against Italy when it mattered in the first round, two against England, and now two against Belgium. Yes, there's no question about it. I'm already eagerly anticipating the sight of him in the final against West Germany because surely that must be the match that we're going to look at on Sunday. And how lucky we are, really, at this stage of the World Cup not to be talking about violence or brutality or any of those things or bad sportsmanship because it's been very good today to be talking about a star player who has his own kind of magic I don't think anybody has all the qualities that, that he possesses his pace is electric his strength is there and his football ability quite remarkable there he is again in the thick of it <laughs> comes out almost inevitably with the ball and perhaps with a bruised ankle looking down there the left knee of course was a source of great concern before the World Cup started but uh, Maradona has survived without injury he's also survived without a booking incidentally which four years ago would never have happened when he was reacting to everything and we come now to the last minute here's Grun And big Batista. Maradona's to his left. And Valdano is coming in from the far side. He wants the ball played across. It's still Maradona, and it'll go for a corner. I think Maradona was caught there, perhaps between going for his hat-trick and trying to give the number three who just come on a shot at goal. <laughs> but uh, this match has been played for a semi-final in a very good spirit. It's coming to its conclusion now, and the crowd are beginning to give Maradona the sort of ovation that his personal performance undoubtedly merits. Boccini. Alardi Cachea. Whistle starting to go around the stadium because we are, in fact, just completing the 90 minutes. And still the Belgians resolute to the end come forward with barefoot Kleissen
the Caldron. De Smet. Brun is in the centre, so is Fate. Anything for Belgium now would surely be a consolation. De Smet. And Pompidou completely in charge of his area there. And Argentina have reached the World Cup final for the third time and for the second time in eight years. Thanks to Diego Armando Maradona, who has again electrified the Azteca Stadium with a wonderful personal performance, scorer of both the goals against a gallant Belgian side and leader of an Argentine team, which now goes through to play West Germany in a classic Latin American South American versus European confrontation here in one of the great stadiums of the world on Sunday at 7 o'clock your time. The final score in the semi-final and we hope you'll join us for that great occasion on BBC this coming Sunday night. The final score in the semi-final as Diego Maradona is congratulated all round. We shall be on the air at 6.35 on Sunday night to build up the final for you to show you what happens when he comes face to face with the West Germans. I wonder who will have to mark him. We shall wait and see. But this has been a momentous and privileged occasion to be here. The Argentine supporters salute their hero among heroes. And the final score in the semi-final is Argentina 2, Belgium 0.